Welcome back to the channel my friends uh, Today we're gonna do a project shoot for a client of mine So today we're not gonna shoot landscapes But today we're gonna shoot this project At the moment I'm shooting the most iconic view of this shopping center This is the entrance where all the cars drive in The first thing that I see is uh, the corner here And the circle with the tree in it And uh, now the sun is lighting up the tree a little bit Now I'm taking a picture with a few leading lines in the picture. We have the footpath here and we have the cycling path, the red one. And uh, in the middle, this is one of the leading lines. It's straight down in, uh, in the middle of the frame. And also we have the roof. And with the leading lines, our eyes will go to the end of the, of the frame. And the greenery is uh, complementing the architecture. That's super fine. Hey, we're gonna shoot from another angle. I'm thinking to use the corner of the building and uh, the tree within it. So let's try this angle. What am I doing in this picture? I'm not dead on with the tree or with the roof of the building, but I'm a little bit on the sides. And I'm using these hurdles for the bikes to have a little bit of a foreground in the picture. But the brightest part is also the circle here of the tree and also the sides where the trees and uh, the sun is. But also we have, again, the line of the roof that makes a corner here. So that's also a little bit of leading a line into the light part of the picture. So our eyes will be drawn to the tree and also to the back a little bit. I'm shooting a very difficult angle here. You cannot see it, but uh, above me we have the, the corner of the roof. And I'm shooting with my Tokina 11 to 16 at 11 millimeters, so it's very wide. So we have a lot of distortion. So the, the corner looks very spiky, uh, more than in, uh, in real life. But it's the best angle that I can get to shoot this uh, corner and have a little bit of, uh, here on the sides you have the, the cycling pad. We have two cycling pads that's uh, also cornering together here. And also the corner of the cycling pad that's coming together here. And the rooftop is not aligned. That's bothering me super much because you see it in the frame, you have the corner here of the cycling pad and here the, the corner of the, the roof. I shut it anyway. I don't know if I'm going to use it to give it to my client. I will see when I'm editing it. I thought it looked cool, but it's, 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 it's a very difficult one. It's like, nah, I'm not going to use it. And yes, it's cool. I will show it to you. I don't know if I'm going to send it, but uh, let's see. I'm all set for uh, the twilight shoot. We have a very beautiful sun that's coming in here. In half an hour, it's sunset. Then the magic will happen here in the roof. You probably saw it on the previous photo, uh, there are LED strips also in this uh, piece of roof. But this one, somebody put it out, so I wish for the, the twilight shoot that it was still on. It would be much nicer, but it is what it is. There's nobody else here, so uh, I don't think I can ask anybody to put it on. So uh, We have some lights from uh, the shops uh, in this shopping center that are on. So this evening, when the sun is setting, it will be it will all come together and it's gonna be magic. So for now we're gonna wait a little bit till the sun is setting and then we're gonna start shooting. Like half an hour ago the other light strip on this side also went down so I'm gonna compose the photo without the light strips in the, in the roof. What I'm doing right now is I'm taking uh, pictures with uh, 10 or 15 minutes in between because uh, the sun is setting. I'm going to combine some photos together because I want to use the interior lights to give it an evening feeling. But also I want to use a uh, sky because on this side of uh, the building the sun is setting and we have like in uh, at the moment it's a yellowish uh, glow in the, the sky. Later on it's probably going to change a little bit to orange. Now in the back here 
on the street. It starts to get a little bit uh, magenta. With all those pictures together, it's going to be a very cool uh, photo. Now I'm going to wait a little bit more that the lights inside are going to match the outside lights. I just moved my camera because I also wanted to have another angle with the twilight shoot. I put my camera in portrait mode. We have a leading line from uh, the cycling path here that leads the eye into the back of the building. And also I'm using my wide angle lens. So we are standing very close to the building. It looks really impressive that way. So now I'm uh, shooting for the interior lights and uh, in the back here. It's uh, almost a little bit orange, so the, the cycling path will lead us to the sunset in, the, in this photo. I'm shooting my uh, last photo for this evening. I'm shooting from far away because I also wanted to include some nature in the, in the frame. If you watched my videos in the past, maybe you saw the video where I talked about framing the frame. This is what I'm doing right here. I'm using the nature around the building to frame it. So we have those uh, leaves in the top of the screen. I also have them uh, in the camera here. That's creating a natural frame on top. And then we have this uh, beautiful grass here in the foreground. There's also a bigger branch here that's laying on the ground that creates a little bit of a leading line to the building. Every time when I'm shooting architecture or interior, I'm always bracketing with uh, five frames, but I'm not always using the, those five frames, but it's just a precaution in case if I need them. I'm done for today. The interior lights are overpowering the exterior light. Tomorrow we're going to start editing those photos. I hope you like the photos in this video. Give it a thumbs up and uh, I hope the client will also like the photos. That's very important. With that said, I will see you next week. Bye. You will not believe this. Everything was packed. I got into my car and then suddenly all the lights of the building went on. I ran back to the place where we were shooting the last photo, but actually it was a little bit too late, but uh, I took the photo anyways, because the tree is lit now, so that's super cool. I hope the photo turns out great, but I wish we had that light the whole evening instead of just now. If I knew that with, all, with, uh, with the last shot we took, I could have blended in all those lights, but yeah, that's life I guess. <laughs> But thank you for watching, I will see you next week, bye! Taking a, a few pictures, uh, like, uh, like didn't... Uh, I'm shooting from far away because I also want to. That's that are a very. Um, bye.